Hi guys, my name is Steph. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a video that is a collaboration with Jen from This Prudent Gal. If you are one of her subscribers and you're over here visiting with me, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And if you are my subscriber, I'm going to put Jen's link down in the description box. She does all kinds of things. She does grocery hauls, thrifting, she does decorating, gardening, she does vlogs. And uh, she's just a really sweet, sweet girl and I so enjoy my interaction with her. Um, so the theme of our, our videos are in honor of our mothers on, for Mother's Day. And I know Jen has chosen something for her and I've chosen the one thing that I thought my mother used to just love. Um, when I was a child we lived in Pittsburgh and of course uh, they had a restaurant chain there called Eaton Park and one of their features was a fresh strawberry pie and my mother absolutely loved it. So I've made a strawberry pie and um, it's in the refrigerator cooling right now. I will bring it out a little bit later and cut a piece of it and let you see what it looks like. But uh, again, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to go check out Jen, okay? So what I have here are some washed and hulled strawberries. I also set some of the prettier ones aside for the top of the pie. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, crush some of these berries and sprinkle them with sugar and then set them aside to allow them to macerate for a while because I want some of the juice that forms. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is pre-bake my pie shell, and um, I used my own recipe for it. I'll put it down in the show more box below, but I don't know if you've ever had trouble fitting a pie shell to a pan. What I do is I go ahead and I roll out my dough, and then I just turn the pie pan upside down over it, and then I will trim away, leaving about an inch around the perimeter, and that gives me a good size for the pie shell. Okay, I have drained one cup of the juices from the strawberries and I'm going to combine them now in a small pot with a quarter cup of sugar, one tablespoon and one teaspoon of cornstarch and I will mix it and bring it to a boil and I'll cook it until the sauce is nice and clear. Once the sauce is cooked, take it off the heat and let it cool thoroughly. Okay, it's time to assemble the pie. I've taken some of the glaze and combined it with the crushed berries and that's going to go on the bottom of the pie crust. Just use your spatula and smooth it out a little bit. Now take your reserved strawberries and just kind of start putting them around in a kind of an attractive design. Whoops, lost one. Just all the way around in a couple layers. And finally take the last little bit of glaze that you have and warm it slightly and then just use it to brush on top of the berries. And it makes them look so beautiful, nice and shiny, very, very appetizing. Once this is done, I'm going to refrigerate the pie for a couple of hours before serving it. Okay. 
There you go. Okay, friends, it is time to cut a piece of this pie, all right? How about right here? Okay. I think it looks pretty good. And of course you have to have the crowning touch. Okay, let's try a bite of this. Get some of that whipped cream. Oh my goodness. Fresh strawberry pie. So delicious. I know my mother would have really enjoyed this. Hey my friends, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I will put a link down at the bottom for Jen's channel. And I will put the recipe for the pie down there too.